So last week, Adobe dropped a major new update for Lightroom CC, which means you can now share your edits with the community. But even better than that, you can download free presets from high profile photographers like Peter McKinnon or Jordan Hammond, or just about anybody, to be honest, for free without even leaving Lightroom. So stick with me and I'll show you how to do that. Hi, I'm Johnny Keeley. I'm a photographer and if this is your first time here, consider hitting the subscribe button. And if you find this video useful, hit the like button. That really helps me out. So this new feature is in beta at the moment and it is called Share Inspirational Edits. Now you can access this from the home screen in Lightroom CC. All you have to do is go to home and then discover and you'll have all those images there. If you're in Lightroom mobile for mobile or iPad, you just look for the little world icon and hit that and it should take you to this screen. Now you can see all across the top are all the categories. Now if we scroll down here, you can see here's a shot from Peter McKinnon, who I don't think I need to introduce. Now, when you click on that, you can start seeing his step-by-step -step process through the edit of this shot, which is amazing. You can see all of the steps he went to while he was editing this particular photo. You can, if you were to click on these, you can go back to these steps. But there, that is the finished shot. Now, if you look at the beginning here, you can go back to the original. This is the raw, and then that is the finished. But the best thing is here, see this? Save as preset. All you need to do is hit save, as preset and you've got the title here that you can save and then you can select all the different things that you want to save and it by default it will save it all. Now hit save. I've already done this so I'm going to replace it. Now I have just saved Peter McKinnon's preset to my own preset library for free without leaving Lightroom. That is an amazing feature in my opinion. If we go back, let's scroll down and have a look at a few more. I recognize this one immediately. This is from Jordan Hammond. If we click on that again, we can see his step-by-step -step process. Now this will automatically take you through all those different steps so you can educate yourself on how they got their edits the way that they did. And as you can see with a lot of these photographers, the color mix is a huge, huge part of the edit. But anyway, so from the original there all the way down to the end where he's cropped a four by five for his Instagram. And again, save as preset. So all you need to do is click on this button and you can save that preset to your own preset library. The profile system is really nice as well. For example, here is my profile. It gives you an opportunity for a nice banner image and a profile picture, then your links. So that's my website, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. Then you've got the photos that you've shared here. And if you hover over, it'll show you the original and the edit on all of these. So let's just click onto that. And again, just like before, it'll take you step by step through my edit. Now this is really interesting for me because I didn't actually edit it in this linear way like that. I kind of moved around a lot. So it's really interesting for me to see my own edit in this way. And again, so I can just hit save as preset. Not a lot of point in saving my own preset. I can do that already. But if you want to go to my profile and take a look at those photos, you can save those presets that I've created as your own and feel free to do that. So essentially, if you're using Lightroom CC, you have almost unlimited access to presets from photographers all over the world for free without even leaving the app. And you don't have to put in any details or pay any extra money. You can just download these. So let's say, for example, you're doing some wedding edits and you're just feeling a little bit uninspired and you want to change things up a little bit. You can just scroll across to the top here, hit wedding. We'll wait for that to load and we'll scroll down until we see a nice edit. Um, now this here, this is these are some lovely tones. So I'm going to hit that one. But what I'm looking to do is maybe add some of these tones to my own edit so I can save as preset and then just jump straight back into the edit I was doing. If you want to check out the photographer, for example, you can see their profile and see all the different shots that they've done. So this is a really nice way for photographers to make their work discoverable. But for me, the really standout feature is the save preset function. That is going to really change the way people consume presets. So the negative side of this is that preset sales are an important revenue stream for many photographers. But on the flip side, this does give them another place to make their presets discoverable. And I've already seen a few companies jumping on this. Now, I'm a musician and I have been for 15 years. So I was around at the time of Napster, Spotify and all those things. I saw the way that 
those online streaming services completely changed the way that music is sold. Now I wonder whether this will have a, probably a smaller effect, but a similar effect on the way that presets are sold. Because now, honestly, you don't need to go to people's websites and buy their presets. I highly recommend that you do, because I often buy presets to support photographers and maybe educate myself a little bit to how they do their work. But honestly, you can do all that through Lightroom now. So let me know in the comments if this is something that you're going to use. Maybe you're someone who buys presets or maybe you're someone who sells presets. I'd be really interested to hear what you think of this. Thank you for watching the video, everybody. If you found that useful, hit the like button. And if you want to check out any more of my videos, you can check out two on the screen right now. And if you hit this round one in the middle, you can hit subscribe. And if you do that, I will see you in the next video.